let's explore how to create a cinematic impact preset in Krotos Studio Pro. To help us get started, let's look at the Dark Entry preset. Dark Entry has four main layers, Hit, Brahm, Pulses and Symbols, and Screen. Each layer provides its own unique character to the sound effect preset. The Hit layer provides impactful, low-frequency kick drum sounds. Brahm adds tension with some horn stabs. Pulses and Symbols builds on this by adding sounds that are full of motion and excitement. And the Screen layer provides spine-tingling screams. Now let's trigger the preset and play all four layers together. Structuring your cinematic presets to have a different characteristic on each layer helps to keep the sound effect more cohesive. It also then means that you can trigger any of the corners individually or click centrally on the XY pad to trigger them all together. Each engine can contain multiple sound effects, meaning we can create many variations of the same sound. The multiple sounds in each engine are characteristically similar to each other, but also have some subtle difference. This helps to create unique variations with each click inside the XY pad as a new combination of sounds will be triggered each time. Each of the tabs in this preset are set to play back their samples randomly. You can also randomize the pitch, panning and level parameters. Now let's put all this into practice with our own cinematic impact sound effect. In the hamburger menu, load factory presets, open the preset template folder and select cinematic template 01. I will name the tabs and the corners of the XY pad accordingly by right clicking in the box and typing. Note trigger is enabled because we want the sound to trigger each time the XY pad is clicked. Now let's load in our sound effects. We will add our impact sounds to engine 2 and our kicks to 3 and 4. I'm dragging my files in from my file browser, but you can also use any library search tool including Soundly, Soundminer, Basehead or any other sound effects database. The amplitude envelopes are all set to full sustain and longer release times, so the sound will trail off smoothly with each click. I've set each engine to trigger randomly, and I've also added some subtle pitch and level randomization to the layers, so that each time we trigger this sound effect, it will sound slightly different. Now when we click in the hit corner, all of these engines will trigger together to create a powerful thump. Now we'll add our brown sound effects to engine 1. There are five variations of this sound and we will drag them in all at once by dragging and dropping directly into the engine. We can now trigger the hits and the Brahms separately or we can combine them. Now let's move on to the Scream tab. The Scream tab will just contain one layer. I've selected some Scream sounds and dragged those into engine one. I've adjusted the amplitude envelope times so that the Screams fade in and out naturally. Much like the Brahms layer, there are five variations of this sound and they will trigger randomly. Next we'll move on to the Pulses tab. For the Pulses tab we have two unique samples, one in Engine 1 and one in Engine 2. Adding the samples into separate engines enables them to be played together in parallel rather than cycling through them. Engine 1 is panned to the left and Engine 2 is panned to the right. Again, the amplitude envelopes are set to a slow attack and a slow release. Here are all of the layers so far combined. Finally, we'll move on to the Symbols tab. I'll add some reverse symbols and a whoosh in Engines 1, 2 and 3 and these will trigger at different stages of the sound effect. You can also set when these sounds will be triggered using the start and end points within the waveform. Now let's hear the whole preset together. When you're happy with your preset, you can save it by going to the hamburger menu and selecting save preset as. Here you can name your preset and save it for future use.